Hey guys, welcome to, let's see, what are we on? Muscles! Muscles! I guess we're talking all about muscles and how they are going to be attaching to the skeleton in some cases. So we're going to start here with the head and the neck, as you can see. Um, what's our friend's name here, Karine? Um, Henry. Henry, alright. So Henry is a friend of Herman. Right. And <laughs> they hang out in our lab together. So we are going to start with the head and face muscles. So the first one on our list is going to be the two orbicularis muscles. Now these are going to orbit two of the openings on our face. The first one is called the orbicularis oculi. Okay, this is going to be our winking muscle. Winky, winky. And then we have our orbicularis oris. We're going to go oral is oral. <laughs> oris is oral. This is our kissy muscle. Kissy face. <laughs> So those are going to wrap around those two openings. The next on our list is attached to the zygomatic bone. The zygomaticus major is going to run right there, and this is going to help us smile. Smiley muscle. Now the next muscle is actually a two-parter. It's uh, in your lab book as the occipitofrontalis. So the frontalis is part of this muscle on the frontal bone, and then it kind of connects towards the back at the occipital bone, which is the uh, what I always call the occipitalis. Yep, I do too. I call this one occipitalis, and I call this frontalis. And then from this angle, you can also kind of turn it and see our temporalis on the temporal bone. That, if you're really talented, you can flex that and you wiggle, wiggle your ears. ears. Nice. I can't do that. I no, can't either. Not so much. And then the last one on the face here is our mass setter. Oh, uh, chomp, this, chomp, chomp. This, this is your chewing muscle. Um, this is going to be one of the first that you have to know the origin and insertion on. Now remember, origins are going to be where? The muscle starts, originates. So it's going to start, which means that must that bone is not going to move when we contract it, and then it's going to insert at the area where the bone is going to move. Right, the movable end. Movable end. So on the face, there's only one movable bone, right? So it's going to uh, be our mandible. So the origin of the mass center, we can see on the other side here, is going to be at the zygomatic arch of the zygomatic bone, and then it is going to insert at the bottom of the mandible there, they're at the angle of the mandible and the ramus of the mandible. And the action of this is to chew. Basically, it's going to help us elevate the mandible. So if you clench your teeth really hard, you can actually feel that muscle pop off there on the side of your jaw. Pop off? Whoa, losing muscle. I know, right? <laughs> or it's gonna pop out a little bit. Now, if we look down at the neck, you can see here there's a big, long, skinny muscle that goes all the way down the side of this guy here, the sternocleidomastoid. So if you think about the three parts of that, it's going to attach at the sternum, the clavicle, and then the mastoid process of the temporal bone. So it's a nice, long, skinny muscle there. The other muscle you can see from this angle is our pectoralis major. Now the pec muscles we'll also see on another model in a little bit. Um, going to be the chest muscles. And then the deltoid is our shoulder muscle right there. We'll look at that a little bit later as well. And then on the posterior side, we can see the traps what we call the trapezius muscle that's attached at many, many places, including the top of the, uh, like the occipital bone, all the way out to the scapula, and then all the way along the vertebrae following down the neck. Okay, so we're going to move over to the torso for our second video. Perfect! Woo!